Monster Jam fans, after three days of just non-stop homework, we are finally back to finally return with some Monster Jam action out here on Arena Championship Series West. But before we can begin this evening's Monster Jam action, we'd love to thank all of those who have served our country. Monster Jam was built right here in the USA. And we are super grateful and thankful living in the greatest nation on earth to celebrate its strengths, freedoms, and resilience. And we've served in the United States military where it can be Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, or Coast Guard. Please rise and thank you for your service. God bless the United States of America. Presenting our nation's colors, this is going to be Avengers Racing in the Steel Titans Sports League. Everybody, please go check out these channels, they are really cool. And everybody, please rise and move your caps for the singing of our national anthem by Avengers Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats and squid hats as we now present our nation's colors. Coming out to the track first, making a fill-in for the series points leader, your 2023 Stadium Tour Blue Champion, your current 2024 Stadium Tour East points leader, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Medinga in Grave Digger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Right now, I need you guys to get loud and say with me because this is Monster Jam. Mm -hmm, mm Semi-finals, let's find out. Here we go on your market set go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your winner is gonna be Tony Oaks in Thunder Warris. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Next up out of the NHRA, this is Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Versus the other Landrum Zangber Team Throttle Monster. This is Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. Who will get the win in advance on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go on your market set go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ashley Sanford having some troubles getting caught in the wall will cost her as your winner is going to be Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Versus in the other lane, representing for Team Throttle Monster, this is David this is Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. Who will get the win and advance on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mmm. 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 Don Widener with all kinds of mistakes will cost him him allowing for Tyler Meninga and Grave Digger to get the win. Mm -hmm. Next up, representing for all the hardworking men and women, this is Joe Yuri Inner Shaker versus the other lane coming straight out of the dog pound, representing for Team Throttle Monster. This is Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Who will get the win and advance on to the semifinals? Let, this is, as this is the final race of round one, let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mmm. 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 Your winner is going to be Berto Trevino in Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Mmm. 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 Next up, it is now time to kick off the semifinals out here with a dino battle. We've got Tony Oaks in Thunder Warris versus Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. Who will advance on to the final round? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mmm. 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 And your winner is going to be Tony Oaks in Thunder Warris. Mmm. 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 Who will advance to the final round to take on Tony Oaks in Thunder Warris? Will it be Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger or will it be Berto Trevino in Monster Mutt Rottweiler? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mmm. 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 And your winner is going to be Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Mmm. 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 Monster Jam fans, we make it to the final round out here in tonight's JCB Racing Competition. We started off the night with eight of the fastest Monster Jam competitors, and we have now made it down to the fastest two. Fresno, are you ready to meet our final round contenders? Coming out first, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Versus in the other lane, representing the Apex Predator, this is Tony Oaks in Thunder Warris. Who will get the win and get the first eight points here towards tonight's overall event championship? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. And your winner is going to be none other than Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Great job out for Tyler Meninga and Grave Digger for getting this racing win. You know, he was just competing in Tampa a couple days ago and had and did pretty good there, there in Tampa just this past weekend. He came, he flew in overnight in between shows, in between the Sunday afternoon Tampa show, to come out here to Fresno, although he kind of did have a three-day delay on the show, but anyway, Tyler Meninga came out here. This is his first arena event in a long time, you know, Tyler's really used to these arenas, you know, he's competing on them a lot from 2016 to 2021, 
So he knows how to do these arena shows, and he's even done a few in 2022 and 2023, and you know, Tyler's is super dominant and knows how to throw it down in an arena, and that is why he's going to be able to pick up the first eight points towards tonight's overall event championship. Monster Jam fans, it is now time for our second competition here of the night. The, the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Each driver is going to get two opportunities to perform their best maneuvers on two wheels. Two of maneuvers you may see these drivers attempt out here on this track are Sky Wheelies, Slap Wheelies, Stoppies, Moonwalks, Poppers, Bicycles, or maybe even a combination of these moves. So, Fresno, get loud if you're ready for the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out first, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Manuel Solario in El Toro Loco. Mm, 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 mm. Blowing that smoke out of the nostrils, getting ready for his two wheel run. Blowing that smoke out of the nostrils as he's got oh, here a nice reverse popper. And he's gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go. Nice there, Popper, and that's going to be the end of the run for Manuel Solario and El Toro Loco. Mm -hmm. Your score for Manuel Solario and El Toro Loco is going to be a 28. Good enough out here for the lead to kick things off out here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out next out of the NHRA, this is Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice and reverse offer for Ashley Sanford. <laughs> And she's gonna set it down. Nice first attempt. One more attempt left to go. Mm -hmm. Big Sky Willie, and that's gonna be the end of the run. How we here for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Mm -hmm. Your score for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon is gonna be a 28. Getting up for second place, your leader is still going to remain Manuel Solario in El Toro Loco. Coming out next, representing for Team Toronto Monster, this is Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. Mm, 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 Great offer twisting those front and back to BKT tires. Mm -hmm. 
And he's gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go for Dalton Widener. Really great at first attempt. Precision right there, and that's going to be the end of the run for Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack. Mm -hmm. Your score for Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack is going to be a 32. That is going to be good enough for the lead. Your brand new leader is going to be Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. Coming out next, representing for all the hardworking men and women, this is Joe Yuri Inner Shaker. Nice little sky relief for Joe Yuri. One more attempt left to go. Another nice sky relief, and that's going to be the end of the run for Joe Yuri and her shaker. Your score for Joe Yuri and Earthshaker is going to be a 24. Good enough for fourth place. Your leader is still going to remain Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack. Coming out next, representing 14th Throttle Monster, this is Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. <laughs> Nice there, Popper. One more attempt left to go. And that's going to be the end of the run for Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. Mm -hmm. Your score for Devin Winfield in Velociraptor is going to be a 24. Good enough for 5th place. Your leader is still going to remain Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack. Coming out next, coming straight out of the Dog Pound, representing for Team Throttle Monster. This is Berto Trevino in Monster Mod Rottweiler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Nice there, Popper. One more attempt left to go. And he's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run for Berto Trevino and Monster Mott Rottweiler. Nice stop, B. Your score for Tony for Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler is going to be a 24. Good enough for sixth place. Your leader is still going to remain Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack. Coming out next, representing the 8X Predator, this is Tony Oaks in Thunder Wars. <laughs> Nicer popper. Mm, mm, mm. And he's got it down here into a rollover save onto a wheelie. Wow, nicer job for Tony Oaks and Thunder Warris. One more attempt left to go. Sets down the truck a bit earlier than he wanted to, and that's going to be the end of the run out here for Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris. Mm -hmm. Your score for Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris is going to be a 36. Your brand new leader is going to be Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris. Coming out last. Representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. <laughs> Nicer tombstone. He's gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go for Tyler Meninga. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, They're bicycling in onto the pod, and he's got a combo into a moonwalk. Tyler Meninga. Mm, 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 another nice moonwalk out here. He made me on the nice first one on the off the eight pack ramp as a tombstone, and there he is. He's got that nice bicycle on the moonwalk, and he's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run for Tyler Meninga and Grave Digger. Great run. Your score for Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger is gonna be a 
40, your, which means your Great Clip Skills Challenge winner is going to be none other than Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Great job out here for Tyler Meninga for getting this Great Clip Skills Challenge win. You know, Tyler Meninga just out here as a fill-in for Matt Cody. Matt Cody wasn't feeling his best today, so, you know, he wasn't feeling his best at all this past week. He's trying to recover. And he was busy doing some other stuff, so he called out Tyler Meninga to come fill in, and Tyler Meninga is doing an excellent job at filling in out here so far for Matt Cody. As he gets an as you know, Tyler does an epic tombstone off that moonwalk, showing his great balance on those front two BKT tires, and then he has a a nice bicycle in it to sidewalk. While well, he skateboards it, walks it up the pond, combos in, and walks down to a nice moonwalk. Just wow, what a run from Tyler Meninga in Gravedigger as he picks up this Great Clip Skills Challenge win. Monster Jam fans, it is now halftime, so maybe sure you know you get up, stretch, go you know, get your food, your snacks, your drinks, your water, and come back in half an hour for the second half of our Monster Jam event with the Monster Jam Donut Competition and the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Monster Jam fans, it is now time to kick off the second half of tonight's event with the Monster Jam Donut Competition. Each driver is going to get one attempt to do their best donut. Stuff the judges are looking for when judging these donuts are the amount of rotations, the momentum, and how long they can donut for. So, Fresno, get loud if you're ready for the donut competition. Coming out first out of the NHRA, this is Ashley Stanford in Megalodon. Oh, Ashley goes for a donut, but just sadly rolls over. Your score for Ashley Sanford and Megalodon is going to be a 16. And that is going to be your leader to kick things off out here in the donut competition. Coming out next, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Manuel Solorio in El Toro Loco. Mm, 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 mm. Oh man, he was having a great donut. I thought he would have been to land that, but he just runs it into the pod and will roll over, and that's going to be a sad ending to the run out here for Manuel Sol Rio in El Toro Loco. Mm -hmm. He's getting the truck flipped over, and they're going to tow it back to the pits, and then get it fixed up and ready for freestyle. As here is Scoops towing the truck, he's got it. Hooked on there a bit weirdly, and they got him hooked up now good, and now they're towing him back to the pits. Your score for Manuel Solorio and El Toro Loco is going to be a 20. Good enough for the lead. Your brand new leader is going to be Manuel Solorio and El Toro Loco. Coming out next, coming straight out of the dog pound representing for Team Throttle Monster. This is Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. And he's just gonna donut it in the air and he's gonna have a hard landing and that's gonna be the end of the run out here for Berto Trevino and Monster Rot Rottweiler. As he goes on his lid, comes Scoops to come flip over the truck. And then they got the truck, and they're gonna go, and they're gonna come back to the pits. Your score for Berto Trevino and Monster Mob Rottweiler is gonna be an 8. Good enough out here for third place. Your leader is still gonna remain Manuel Solorio in El Toro Loco. Coming out next, representing for Team Throttle Monster, this is Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh man, uh, Devin Winfield was gonna nail that donut, but he just goes over. I think he hits the pod or something, and he just goes over. One unfortunate ending to the run 
for Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. And they come, they come flip them over and tell them back to the pits. And your score for Devin Winfield and Velociraptor is going to be a 20, getting up for second place. And your leader is still going to remain Manuel Solorio and El Toro Loco. Coming up next, representing for all the hardworking men and women, this is Joe Yuri in Earthshaker. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh man, he really went for that tone up, but just rolls it over, and that's when you get the run for Joe Gary in Earthshaker. One unfortunate ending to the run. Seems like nobody out here can nail a donut so far. Not one truck has nailed one so far. Hopefully, maybe one of the next three will be able to nail it. Your score for Joe Yuri and Earthshaker is going to be a 24. Getting up for the lead, your brand new leader is going to be Joe Yuri in Earthshaker. Coming out next, representing for Team Throttle Monster, this is Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack. Oh man, another crash here on a donut. Man, you know, his surface out here, the crash has not been good out here for Donuts. Dolan Widener is also going to crash out here. And coming out here to come flip over the truck. <laughs> Trying to tell him back to the face. Your score for Dalton Widener Drask Attack is going to be a 16. Good enough for 5th place. Your leader is still going to remain Joe Yuri Inner Shaker. Next up, representing the Apex Predator, this is Tony Oaks in Thunder Warris. Mm hmm. Another crash. Oh man, this guy has been eating these trucks alive. And they've got another crash out here in the donut competition. This track has been very tricky out here tonight to nail a donut on, and it's gonna claim another victim. The track's gonna claim another victim out here. It's been a tough break for all these drivers. Your score for Tony Oaks and Thunder Wars is gonna be a 12. Good enough for 6th place. Your leader is still going to remain Joe Yuri in her shaker. Coming out last, representing the black and green wrecking machine. This is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Oh man. Tyler Meninga lost a crash out here. Oh, what's up, Rick? For Tyler Meninga in Gravedigger. I thought he was going to have it, but he just ends up on his lid. What a tough break out here for Tyler Meninga in Gravedigger. They're currently right now tow him off the track. Your score for Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger is going to be a 20. Good enough for fourth place, which means your Monster Jam Donut competition winner is going to be none other than Joe Yuri in Earthshaker. Nice job out for Joe Yuri to pick up one of his first competition wins here in Monster Jam, or at least his first one in a while. You know, Jerry Yuri, Joe Yuri just came back a little, almost, almost one month ago in Wichita, Kansas. He came back to competition after having not competed since 2021 in Monster Jam and driving a part of Team Throttle Monster. You know, the past two shows for Joe Yuri have been him trying to de-rust. 
And now this weekend, and you know, and now today, finally got a, a competition win. Finally, after a long time, I'm trying to get one out here behind the wheel of Earthshaker. You know, this is a tough donut competition. Is This is the first donut competition I think I've ever done on my channel where a driver, where none of the drivers actually nail a donut and everybody ends, winds up rolling over. So that is a first for sure. That is definitely a first out here. Out here, and that was just really crazy. No one nailed it, but Joe Yuri was definitely closest to nailing it. So that is why he was awarded the win. So just great job I have for Joe Yuri and Earthshaker as he picks up the next eight points towards tonight's overall event championship. Monster Jam fans, we've reached the pinnacle of tonight's Monster Jam event. The BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Each driver is going to get two minutes to tear up the track to do their biggest and best moves. Some of the stuff you may see these drivers do out here on this track are donuts, tentacle maneuvers, huge air, crazy saves, a backflip. Our name is something really wild, crazy, and new we've never even seen before. Stuff the judges are looking for when judging these freestyle runs are flow, non-stop action, momentum, breathtaking saves, huge vertical air, the use of all obstacles, and the completion of the time. If a driver does not complete the first 30 seconds of the run, they'll be unable to qualify for a score. So, Fresno, get loud for me one last time. If you're ready for the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Coming out first, representing for all the hardworking men and women, this is Joe Yuri Inner Shaker. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And the two minute timer starts now. Tension right after that overall event championship win, but he is definitely gonna need to pick up the pace in this freestyle run and do something amazing if he's gonna try to get that win. As he ended up just coming off his first donut competition win out here of the season, so let's see if he can come out here and get a freestyle win. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be the end of the run out here for Joe Yuri Inner Shaker. Your score for Joe Yuri in Earthshaker is going to be a 20. That is going to be your leader to kick things off out here in the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Coming out next, coming straight out of the Dog Pound, representing for Team Strong Monster, this is Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And the two minute timer starts now out here for Berto Trevino as he kicked things off right with the popper. Roberto Trevino. Roberto Trevino and Monster Mo Rottweiler. Mm-hmm. Your score for Roberto Trevino and Monster Mo Rottweiler is going to be a 24. Good enough for the lead. Your brand new leader is going to be Roberto Trevino and Monster Mo Rottweiler. Coming out next, representing for the Crazy Bull, this is Manuel Solario and El Toro Loco. Mmm, mmm, mmm. that smoke out of the nostrils as he gets ready for his freestyle run. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And kicking off out with a reverse popper. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 Wow, great save. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smoke out of the nostrils one last time for you Fresno fans as he heads back to the pits. 
Your score for Manuel Solo Rio and El Toro Loco is going to be a 35. Your brand new leader is going to be Manuel Solo Rio and El Toro Loco. Coming out next, representing the Apex Predator, this is Tony Oaks and Thunder Warris. Two men starts now. Men's a stoppy moonwalk combo. Men's a kicks it up so willy and he's got it back down into a stoppy. Wow. Seconds left, looks like lining up here for that Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp as he nails it. Oh no, and he's just gonna roll it over right there with 14 seconds left on the clock. He tries to go for a roll over safe and just doesn't quite get it, and that's gonna be the end of the run for Tony Oaks and Thunder Warris. As they're coming in right now to flip over that truck and then I tow it back to the pits, seeing it fixed up and ready for the next show. And there they go, they got Thunder Wars towing back. Your score for Sony Oaks and Thunder Wars is going to be a 36. Your brand new leader is going to be Tony Oaks and Thunder Wars. Coming up next out of the NHRA, this is Ashley Stanford in Megalodon. <laughs> the two minute timer starts now. <laughs> and she's actually Sky's Megalodon out here on that first hit. Mm-hmm. 
Nice small donut right here at the end of time, and that's going to be the end of the run for Ashley Sanford and Megalodon. Mm, 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 mm. Your score for Ashley Sanford and Megalodon is going to be a 30. Good enough for third place. Your leader is still going to remain Tony Oaks and Thunder Warris. Coming out next, representing 14 Throttle Monster, this is Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. In Velociraptor. Mm -hmm. Your score for Devin Winfield and Velociraptor is going to be a 38, uh, I'm going to say a 28. Good enough for fourth place. Your leader is still going to remain Tony Oaks in Thunder Roarus. Coming out next, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. The two minute timer starts now for Tyler Meningas. He just goes absolutely flying through the air. Wow. <laughs> Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp and he's got it and he's gotten onto a moonwalk. Wow. 
Wow, crazy bicycle. Little skateboards in onto another bicycle and he's got it down into a moonwalk. Tyler Meninga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great save. Epic donut right there at the end, and wow! And that's gonna be the end of the run for Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Wow! What a run out here for Tyler Meninga. Your score for Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger is gonna be a 39. Your brand new leader is going to be Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Coming out last, representing for Team Throttle Monster, this is Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack. <laughs> the two minutes starts now out here for Dalton Widener. <laughs> Looks like Don Widener lining it up here for that eight pack. That's where he gets consecutive right there off that Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. Wow, Dalton Widener. That's going to be the end of the run out with here for Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. What a run out here for Dalton Widener. That was a really great run. Mm -hmm. Your score for Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack is going to be a 38. Good enough for second place, which means your BKT Tires Freestyle winner is going to be none other than... Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Man, those two runs are really close to determine the winner, but Tyler Meninga will get it, out, get the win. Tyler just had a great run. Big air, a crazy bicycle into Moonwalk. He nailed the eight pack, had some crazy saves, and I mean, there's not that much more you can do. Just great job out here for Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Tyler, you know, filling in for Matt Cody. You know, Matt Cody, you know, he's kind of busy and just could not quite make it out to the show. Oh, so, you know, Tyler Meninga would fill in, and Tyler Meninga just did a great job filling in for Matt Cody. He, you know, out like here doing an arena show. Tyler doesn't get to do arena shows as much as often anymore, so, you know, when he doesn't, you know, he's not going to take advantage of him. He's going to try to lay down the best performance he can, and he definitely laid down a really great, a great performance out here today, and he just had... Amazing day with just an absolutely great run. So just great job out here for Tyler Meninga 
in Gravedigger as he's going to pick up the last eight points towards tonight's overall event championship. Monster Jam fans, that is going to be a wrap out here for tonight's event out here in Fresno, California. But your overall event championship winner has been decided. And we're getting a total of 8 points in the JCB Racing Competition. 8 points in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. 5 points in Monster Jam Donuts. And 8 points in the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. For a total of 29 points, your overall event championship winner is going to be none other than Tyler Meninga in Gravedigger. Congratulations now for Tyler Meninga just being a fill-in out here. I hope Gravedigger still remain on top. Just great job out here for Tyler Meninga in Gravedigger for picking up this overall event championship win. Here's a look at the results out here from tonight's event. Here are the results for JCB Racing in the overall event championship. And here are the results for the Great Clip Skills Challenge, Monster Gym Donut Competition, and BK Tires Freestyle Competition. And there's a look right now into the season results. Currently right now, Tyler Meninga and, um, and Gravedigger will help Matt Cody and Gravedigger keep the series points lead with 238 points. While, while we have in second place, Tony Oaks and Thunder Wars with 209 points. Third place, Don Widener and Jurassic Attack with... Third place is Don Widener and Jurassic Attack with 208 points. Fourth place is Ashley Sanford and Megalodon with 192 points. Fifth place is Manuel Solario and El Toro Loco with 177 points. Sixth place is Devin Winfield and Velociraptor with 162 points. Seventh place is Berto Trevino and Monster Mo Rottweiler with 153 points. And then in last place is currently me right now, um, Joe Yuri and Earthshaker with only a hundred and eight points. So this is really interesting right here in the point standings. Grave Digger still has a pretty good lead right now over the rest of the field as um, Grave Digger currently has right now a 29 point lead over second place. Thunder Wars with Tony Oaks. And, um, you know, Tony Oaks and Bill Widener are right there battling it out. They're trying to catch up to Tyler Meninga. And they're starting to close in on, and they're trying to close in on him. As they are now both, I believe, a little under. They're 30 points and, and less under Tyler Meninga. So that's going to be interesting to watch those two battle it out out here to see who can swap positions, who can get second place, who can get third place. And um, see if they can see if either one can catch up to the top. Ashley Sanford and Megalodon's also trying to close in and trying to hop into the top three. She's currently right now only 16 points off Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack. So a great event from her could launch her into the top into the top three. And then we have an in. in and in fifth place, Manuel Solario and El Toro Loco. He's trying to jump into the top half of the leaderboard and trying to get that fourth place spot from Ashley Sanford as, as he is only 15 points behind. So that's going to be interesting to see if he can catch up. Manuel did great in today's event, so we can already see how he'll do at the next stop and see if he can somehow possibly try to take this series points lead. And not the serious points lead, but try to take that fourth place spot from Ashley Sanford. So right now, currently also a close battle right now near the bottom in sixth and seventh place between Devin Winfield and Berto Trevino as only nine points separates them. And it is really it's a it is a really close battle between these two. But we cannot wait to see what on earth will happen and who will land over on top of each other, who will get the sixth place stops. Spot and who will get the seventh place spot as it is really close and Joe Yuri really struggling in the bottom but at least today with this decent event he finally got in out of the tens and is now in the hundreds so with 108 points that is really good out here for Joe Yuri to finally be out of the ten, finally get Earthshaker out of the tens and into the hundreds and currently right now guys this tour's next stop is not going to be until this Tuesday, a March 26th in Tucson, Arizona. And guys, I cannot believe I'm already having to say this. And 
mean, it feels like the season just started yesterday. Time is going by fast. But we've only got three stops left on this tour. Now, this Arena Series West this year is a bit shorter compared to some of the other tours we have done in the past. This is a bit of a shorter bit of a shorter tour. Or, you know, I definitely do see that this first quarter is definitely this um, first quarter before World Finals. Um, first quarter 2023 was definitely way longer than first quarter 2024. Is this um, first quarter of um, 2024 is about a month less longer than 2023 as we um, we go from around very late December all the way till oh, um, very late May. And we kick off the season in Madeira Beach. Um, we kick off first quarter in Madeira Beach, and then we end it in Captiva Island. So that is um so that is very interesting. Um, now that we've only got three stops left, and in order to be can am able to win, you have to be 96 points behind the series points leader. So you need anywhere from over 142 points up or higher in order to win the series. And currently, right now, um, that means so far every driver is still able to win the series, except for Joe Yuri in Earthshaker. He is the only one not in contention to win the series. As he is too far behind, and he's a total of 130 points behind Gravedigger. So, I mean, those, so that means Earthshaker is out of contention for the series win. Win. So, you know, you know, Joe Yuri, he did give a try, and James Calhoun, when he was driving, he sort of gave it his best effort to, who to try to um. To try to win win the series, but you know, it just didn't quite work out. It's a tough field of competitors, but hey, they gave it their all, all as it is now down to the top seven competitors to try to win this tour. With only three stops left. So everybody, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. See so you guys can be notified for when the next stop on Arena Series West comes out. Also, one last thing before I wrap up the video, there has been a bit of a schedule change out here. As, if, as you guys know, these past three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, were originally supposed to be the dates for Fresno, Toledo, and Biloxi shows, but I was just so busy with homework. Like, I just had a lot and a lot of homework where I just had no time to do these shows for you guys. So, we had to push Fresno back to today. Luckily, today, um... So, you know, tomorrow I do not have any, I'm not going to school tomorrow due to me traveling up to um, Birmingham for Monster Jam. So, you know, I, I know it's not any rush to get the homework done, done. So, you know, we decided, and so, you know, so we decided we were able to get the Fresno show out and in for today. We were able to get that in, so, we, but we did make a schedule change out here. Um, you know, what we're going to be trying to do I'm hoping this works out, but on Sunday, I am going to try to do the Toledo, Ohio show. You know, as um, it's an eight and a half hour drive to Birmingham. We're gonna try to leave early in the morning on Sunday. Here we should be back in like around five o'clock or maybe six o'clock in the afternoon um, uh, when we get when we get home from Birmingham. And so, and hopefully, guys, I don't have too much homework I need to catch up on, and I can do the Toledo, Ohio show for you guys. That is going to be the plan. And then I pushed Biloxi to Monday, as I'm hoping when I get home from school on Monday, I hopefully I don't have too much homework where I can try to do that show. As um, you know, guys, high school is not easy. You know, there's lots of homework, and grades are take priority over Monster Dirt Arena shows. Shows, you know, that's the way things are, unfortunately, at the moment. If this was getting, like, a million views, then maybe this would be a tiny bit more important if this was getting millions of views. But this is not getting millions of views as of, as of right now. Maybe one day, but as of right now, we are not getting millions of views. So, you know, the grades and the homework do take the priority over Monster Jam Dirt Arena shows. So we're going to try our best. It's been really busy. It's really hard. Hard, you know, we have to really work hard, and you know, school does not get any easier. So, yeah, we're gonna try our best, and we can hope, and we hope this works out. We'll have to see. Also, guys, I'm trying to be a good and a smart YouTuber. 
So when I maybe upload the Biloxi and Tucson shows, or no, I'm gonna say the Toledo and Biloxi shows, and then um, the videos may be set to private where you won't be able to see them and they won't be made public until Tuesday because if my Birmingham video is getting lots of traction and a lot of views, I don't want to upload any other videos where that could possibly slow or stop that traction as um, I spent a lot of money on Monster Jam this year, so I do need um, every, any again. I want to try to be a smart and a good YouTuber, so, you know, we may have to you know, make the videos private, so I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens and what happens to that video, but enough of me rambling on. Um, have a God-blessed night, everybody, and we'll see you all soon for some more Monster Jam action. Peace out.